when you clean the headlamps it makes a terrible mess so I'll have to get all that washed up now these cars were built in the same year and to get the headlamp off the golf you've got to take the grill off the bumper and then there's two screws inside to even change the side light bulb but on the A2 all you do is a screw here there's one here take the plug off the back and the whole thing just See, Roland's had it. And I bought these new 100 watt bulbs to go in the, in the main beam. I also bought 80 watt bulbs for the dip. But to be honest, I don't think they really need them. And you just annoy people, you know, if your dip went too high. So I'll put these 100 watt ones in on the main, on the main beam. So you can see the discoloration on the lens. And this one looks quite bad. So I bought a cheap kit off eBay to do this. And in the kit, you actually get round rubbing down discs, but I prefer to use the square ones and do it by hand. You also get some polishing compound and a liquid protector and this sponge with the kit and it's only about 12 quid. So I'll just do a little bit and I'll actually do this quite quickly. So I'll put that on there. Start off with the 600 grit and I've got some soapy water here and I'll just kind of go in a circular motion. And the lens starts to look really bad. And it's quite worrying when you first see it. Give it a little wipe until it's nice and smooth. Then you go in with the 1500. Give it another little wipe. And finally go in with the 2000 grit. I'm doing this quite quickly as I say, but if you really take your time you can get a really good finish with it. Give it another wipe. Just give it a quick dry and you can see it's gone nice and flat. And just put some rubbing compound on it. It doesn't actually take a lot. I'll just do that little bit there. A drill. And you can see already how clear it's coming up. And that was just doing it very quickly. With three grades of sandpaper, a bit rubbing compound. And you finish off by putting the liquid UV protector on it. But I didn't actually use this on the other side because it actually made quite a mess.
So putting it back on, it's just a reversal of taking it off. There's two little locating sockets in there that it should go into first. Just a little bit of fiddling. Gets them in. How many times have you seen that in YouTube? So that's them in. I'm going to keep an eye on the condensation on that one. Because if it comes back again, I've got another little trick lined up that might sort that out. So later on, I'm going to line it up against the garage wall. Put the dip on. Line up the dip. If it needs any minor adjustment, I'm just going to get my screwdriver out. screwdriver no. I'll give it a bit of adjustment with the screwdriver nearly I'll give it a bit of adjustment with the screwdriver